on Greenland's shores. This scientist is watching a paradox emerge as the island's glaciers retreat. One of the most alarming consequences of global warming could deliver a way to limit its effects. Nice firm fact fragments. So this ultra-fine silt is called glacial rock flour. It's deposited as glaciers melt. Not only does the nutrient-rich mud boost agricultural output when applied to farmland, it also absorbs carbon dioxide from the air in the process. So here we are at this wonder material, and of course you can see here is actually a little bit of pebbles and things. It's the glacial rock flour is deposited when glaciers melt, crushed to nanoparticles by the weight of the retreating ice sheets. Roughly one billion tons of it is created here each year. The nano size of the silt's particles is what allows plants more access to nutrients. Geologist Minnick Rosing is a professor at the University of Copenhagen. This is kind of more or less a unique product uh, to Greenland because Greenland has the only remaining ice cap uh, in the northern hemisphere. The idea of applying finely grained rock to farmland is not new, but the method has gained interest due to the added benefit of absorbing CO2. When the silt dissolves in rainwater and releases its nutrients, it undergoes a chemical reaction that locks in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Tests show that roughly one tonne of glacial rock flour can absorb between 550 and 660 pounds of CO2 when applied to fields, potentially allowing farmers to sell them as carbon credits. Researchers from the University of Ghana managed to increase maize yields by 30% using glacial rock flour to offset the impact of rain and heat on poor farmland. Meanwhile, in Denmark, scientists at multinational brewer Carlsberg also increased crop yield by 30% for two consecutive years by adding it to barley fields. Pai Rasaja Pedas is senior scientist at Carlsberg's research laboratory. And it's a more, you can say, more clean product compared to a very processed inorganic phosphorus fertilization strategy, where this could be a more directly from nature, so to say, um, where you need less, less processing and thereby less, less impact on the nature. Geological surveys show that the best farmland in the world that stretches across parts of North America and Europe was covered by ice during the last ice age. As is happening in Greenland today, the thick layer of ice has revitalized the soil. The government hopes the mud can one day bring much needed revenue as an alternative to dirtier forms of mining.